first touch. Now it's Gressel again into the middle. Looking for Kamara laid off. Oh, and Diop will come through with a big save. But Diop has to extend himself as it's a ball. It's bending away from him. Talking about Junior, Junior Moreno. Where's the number five? Trying to run back. He'll, oh, look out. Here it comes. And it skips through. And we're tied as Boyan evens for Montreal. This is going to be a fun one, Vic. On his back and is able to use his strength to turn. And then just squares the ball. And watch Boyan. He's floating in this back post here. He just finds him. Good work by Kyoto here, just to hold Pines on his back, turns, squares it across. There on Julian Gressel, Julian Gressel, the ball gets away from him a little bit too far perhaps, but well played by Clement Diop. But he's done a good job and really in timing those slides and those tackles. Mason Toy takes up position, oh! What a remarkable goal coming from the back when Yama to tie it at two. Oh, we talked about how set pieces were difficult for the impact in that first half. Well, here you go. Here's a little taste of your own medicine. DC United can't get that first clearance. And a great job by Victor Wenyama not giving up on this opportunity, finding it from a deeper area. And what a header right up in that top corner, giving Bill Hami no chance. And a massive goal. We talked about getting that goal back before that 30-minute mark. Well, they've done that. And now it's just trying to find that go-ahead goal. But a great start to this Opportunity here for the impact to do that. So when Yama, the Kenyan international, scores his second of the season at 74, and we're tied at two. Well, then blow it down there. I'm not going to blow it here. Understanding the referees understand what's on the line for these two teams and doesn't want to be that decider. Overlapping run. Toy, can you get it across? Yes! Kyoto! 3-2 Montreal. Well, the referee didn't decide it. The impact decided it right there on a great opportunity by Mason Toy gets down that left-hand side. And Kyoto does the right thing of just getting himself into the area. We talked about how there was opportunities to catch these teams in transition. And they did that with a great run, a great ball into Toy's feet, and he's got all kinds of time to pick his head up. Kyoto right, right to the spot, right where you need to your center forward to run to. It's a great ball by Kiza, just into the path. Great weight on that ball. Squared across. An easy goal for Kyoto. And it could it be the goal that's going to put themselves into the playoffs. We want to welcome those of you who've been watching TFC against New York City. Montreal on the goal by Kyoto at 88 minutes have taken a 3-2 lead. Montreal. Play through the middle. Oh, is it going to settle? Here comes Diop. Did well. Moreno. And then he'll spray it off the defenders. Reina. Montreal trying to hold on now. Leading 3-2. Far post. Getting up. And Diop. And under the challenge. Plays it Ariola. Played it back. One more. Chipping it forward. Look out. Here they come. Cut it back. And then... Off of Kiza defensively. Big play by Mustafa Kiza there. Challenge. Assad gets it through. Not a doubt. And gathered in. And there it is. And Montreal will pick up the all important win to make the playoffs. Oh, it's got to be sweet for this impact side in Thierry after coming off a 2 1 going into their last half of the season, able to come up with two big, massive goals to see themselves into that playoffs. Will claim the shield as the best with their win and TFC's loss. Montreal will finish ninth, two points ahead of.